Good morning. So I decided to do a what I eat in a day with gestational diabetes today. Um, just to show you guys what I eat and give some type of, I don't know, insight. Um, so right now I'm boiling eggs and that's what I usually have in the morning. And I check my sugar um, like 10 minutes ago. It's 6.30 right now um, and my sugar was 89. Um, ideally you want to keep it under 90 so that's pretty good so I'll show you guys my eggs when I'm done so this is my normal breakfast every morning coffee two boiled eggs hard boiled eggs and my vitamins and he's talking about his cans for school <laughs> so I'll show you guys my sugar in about an hour which will be about eight o'clock all right so I just got to work and checked my sugar after my breakfast it's 804 and it's at 97 which is really good i'm supposed to stay under 130 after a meal so i'll come back after my lunch and i'll show you guys what i'm having for lunch too lunch time So here's my sugar after my lunch, which is not bad. Um, I was able to take like a 10 minute walk after lunch. If you have gestational diabetes, um, they tell you that if you walk or work out or anything after you eat, it will lower your sugar. And I find that to be like totally true. Um, and so this is my sugar an hour after I, I have lunch. So 96, which is really, really good. So I'll see you guys at dinner time. So this is my dinner. Um, I have some jasmine rice, um, and literally this is on a small plate, this is big, how big the plate is. Um, jasmine rice, steamed broccoli, and then this is smothered pork chops I've made with um, some Campbell's um, mushroom soup, garlic mushroom soup. Um, not the most healthy thing if you think about it, but in moderation it's not bad. Um, it is 6 o'clock right now, so I will run my sugar about 7, 7.05. Um, it's dark already pretty much so I probably won't be able to go for a walk but I will work out so I just checked my sugar um, tiny bit late but it's at one it's at 129 which is right below what I need it to be at 130 um, so it's not bad usually my sugar is about this high when I have rice um, rice is something that spikes my sugar in noodles so I try not to have that as much. The carbs that work really well in my body are bread and tortillas, um, corn tortillas, better than flour. And believe it or not, chips, corn chips, like tortilla chips. So yeah, so that's my sugar um, for the day. Hey guys, so I just wanted to also add that it's about 8 o'clock and I did have a snack. I had an apple with a little bit of peanut butter. Um, nighttime seems to be the hardest for me to stay on track because I have cravings as far as like sugar and stuff and I just had to stop buying the stuff that I crave like ice cream and cookies and stuff like that because I'll be honest with you I'll take like one or whatever or I'll just be frustrated that I can't have it like really frustrated so yeah, so that's my last meal of the day. Um, I normally have a snack at work, but today I didn't because I was running around um, on my break. But normally my snack in the middle of the day would be like apples and peanut butter, hummus and um, pretzels. Um, hummus and pretzels seems to be like the best one because I can eat a ton of pretzels. Like uh, the pretzels that I get a serving is like 54. That's a lot. Um, and hummus is a really good source of protein um, or I'll make these little egg muffins um, that you know you put eggs I put eggs spinach cheese onions bell peppers and um, some type of breakfast sausage in there and I'll make a bunch of them on Sunday and I'll have that as a snack oops so yeah that's pretty much what I eat um, I have roughly a little over two weeks left of eating this way but I feel like I'm gonna keep it up because um, the fact that I am gestational diabetic I'm a gestational diabetic um, it makes it more easier or makes it easier for my body to be diabetic later in life also for me and the baby um, which is one of the risks so 
I think it'd be better for me to eat this way and also to help me keep uh, the weight that I've lost off because um, I'm down my personal weight I'm down 10 pounds from my pre-pregnancy weight so I'm actually smaller than when I was before I got pregnant which is a blessing in disguise so I really want to keep that up and just tone and all that stuff and just be healthy so yeah thank you guys for coming along with me today and I hope you uh, found some good ideas if you're gestational diabetic don't give up it's not as scary as you may think you just have to really really stay on it check your sugar like clockwork and listen to your doctors. Alright, bye guys.